in this video we are not going to discuss any topic but we are going to discuss a program where we will find whether the given number is a palindrome or not so let's get started so palindrome is a word number phrase or other sequence of characters which when read from forward or backward is the same some examples of palindromes are mom madam rotter and malayalam if you see these words you can, uh, when you read them from the starting to end and end to start they are the same but right now we're not going to discuss about these words because we haven't discussed the topic strings once we discuss about strings we will discuss about these palindromes right now we are going to discuss about palindromes and numbers like 1 2 3 to 1 2 3 3 to the numbers which when read from forward to backward and backward to forward are the same so we will uh, look at a program uh, which will decide whether the given number is a palindrome or not on our eclipse ide now we will look at a code wherein when we give the user input of our number it will check whether the given number is a palindrome or not so for that we need three variables the first variable is the remainder variable the second one is the reverse variable the third one is a temporary or you can call it as a local variable i'll explain you why we have taken these three variables now we will import the scanner class scanner is equal to scanner now we will import a variable n we will import a variable called int now temp equals n so we have uh, in this n way we have uh, will take the user input for the variable n and we have equated this variable n to a temporary variable so that we can use the temporary variable in the whole code so temp equals n now we will write the while loop first i'll explain uh, first i'll write the code i'll explain it briefly while i'm uh, typing the code and after i write the code fully i'll explain everything in detail so while n is greater than 0 remainder equals n modulus 10 then first i'll write and then explain reverse equals reverse into 10 plus remainder and then n equals n divided by 10 first i'll explain you what this thing is For example, consider a number four fifty-four. Now, what happens? Remainder equals n modulus ten. So, four fifty-four modulus ten. Four fifty-four modulus ten would give us the number four. So, the number four will be stored inside the variable remainder. Now, reverse equals reverse into ten plus remainder. So, starting we don't have any reverse number, so it is going to do zero into ten plus remainder is four. So, zero into ten plus four. This what it's going to do? Zero into ten plus four, which is four. Now the number four will be stored inside the reverse variable, and n equals n divided by ten. So four fifty four divided by ten. Four fifty four divided by ten would be forty five. Since uh, it is an in, it is only. It is gonna give only the floor value. So this forty-five will be again used, and again the loop continues until and unless the number becomes zero. I'll explain this part uh, detailedly after the uh, after I write the whole code. Now we will write the if statement. Now what happens after this whole loop runs? In the reverse, the number will be stored. Now if the if ten Double equals reverse. Then sys out. The number is 
palindrome. So what we have done here? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't uh, initiated reverse. We need to initiate this, uh, initialize this reverse because we are storing a value. We are storing the multiplication and the addition value in this. So we need to first of all initiate this, initialize this. Now, if the temp is equal to reverse, then the number is palindrome. The temp is the number which we input. So if this number is equal to the reverse number, then the number is a palindrome. Else, the number is not a palindrome. The number is not a palindrome. So this is what basically the code is. So what we have, we'll first run this, and then we'll see. First of all, the welcome message here. Please enter the number. So we'll first run this code and we'll check. Showing some error. Yeah, we don't need this. Yeah, please enter the number. So we'll enter this number four four five four. The number is palindrome. Now I'll show you. I'll I'll give you a visu visual representation of how this whole code works. We'll once understand the program fully in a conceptual way. So we have taken the number four fifty four. N modulus 10 would give us 4. So the reversed number would be 0 into 10 plus 4, which is 4. Because we have done reversed into 10 plus the remainder. This is the remainder. And after that, we have done n divided by 10. So 454 divided by 10 is 45. So 45, again, 45, uh, 45 modulus 10 is 5. And again, okay, then the reversed number would be 4 into 10 plus 5. This is the remainder, which is 45. After that, 45 divided by 10 is 4. Since we only take the floor value here, so it is 4. And 4 divided by 4 modulus 10 is or 4. So 45 into 10 plus 4 is 454. Now we get the number 454 here. After that, 4, uh, 4 divided by 10. So the floor value is 0 then 0 uh, modulus 10 is 0 so the final reversed number is 454 now this 454 will be stored inside the reverse number and after that we'll check whether the reverse number is equal to the given input or not if it is equal to the given input then uh, the number is a palindrome or else the number is not a palindrome so this is how the program works in this video we have looked at the program conceptually and even on our Eclipse ID. If you have any suggestions or queries regarding this video, please do ping me on my Instagram handle or comment in the comment section below. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. We will meet in the next one.